guys and welcome back to my channel where we do and talk all things fitness and health. I know it's been a while since I last posted, I'm so so sorry, but I have been busy building my own personal training business. But now that I'm a bit settled, I am back baby. So let's get into the video. All right, so today's video is all about vaginas. Why am I talking about such a taboo subject? Well, I, as well as many other women, have suffered a lot from the misinformation or the lack of advice or treatment in the doctor's office when something downstairs is not functioning well. How many of you have walked into a doctor's office with a problem and just made to feel crazy or, you know, not the doctor not believing your symptoms or blaming your illness on you not having kids yet? I remember I had this horrible experience with getting an IUD put in. I was experiencing a lot of pain and a lot of complications, which I will not get into. But when I went to my doctor, he just acted as if what I was experiencing wasn't actually happening. It was full of distrust and just said, well, like that never happens. And I just left with no answers, no solutions to the problem, and feeling like there was something wrong with me. So I'm making this video for those of you who have had those reoccurring yeast infections, who've had those ovarian cysts, who've had those bad reactions to birth control, and feel like you haven't received any answers to help you out. Now, I'm no physician myself, but a lot of the information I put into this video comes from the book, The Vagina Bible by Jen Gunter, who is a physician herself. And I really recommend this book. Um, it's so informative and she really differentiates between the sexist interpretations of the female body and what is actually backed by science. This book has really helped me, so I encourage anybody to buy it and read it. The link to where you can buy it is in the description below. All right, let's get into the thick of this video, debunking three popular myths about vaginas. Let's start off with sex, since everybody loves sex. Myth number one, there is a specific G-spot. Yeah, you heard me. There is actually no specific G-spot. Dr. Ernest Graffenberg in 1950 discovered a spot beneath the bladder that when touched would drive a woman wild. Yet many women report never finding such a spot. Well, it turns out that Dr. Ernest Graffenberg was not talking about a specific spot. He was talking about an erotic zone that was intimate with the urethra and lower portion of the bladder. But even then, many studies show there is not some macroscopic structure other than the urethra, vaginal wall, and clitoris in the location of the G-spot. So it's probably the case that he was thinking of the um, body and the bulbs of the clitoris in the location of the G-spot. But even then, it takes a certain kind of stimulation to get a woman to orgasm. As Dr. Gunter says, it's not just an on and off switch. And for any of you heterosexual men out there, I just want to put it out there that only one third of women orgasm through penile penetration. Uh, so in short, gentlemen, you got to do something different than just thrusting. And ladies, if you're not climaxing through penile penetration, nothing wrong with you. Myth number two, organic tampons are better for you than regular tampons. Yeah, not true. Organic tampon companies always say that regular tampon companies are making their tampons with hidden toxins. And that is just bull. They say this because technically there's no rule that tampon companies have to put the ingredients in their tampons on the boxes that they sell. But in order to be on the market, they have to be cleared by the FDA. And to be cleared by the FDA, you have to show that the materials you're using are either already materials that have been um, approved of by the FDA, or if they're new materials, they have to provide safety studies. Furthermore, many companies do put their ingredients on the boxes they sell, and they always match the ingredients on their FDA submissions. But let's say there still could be hidden toxins in tampons. What are actually organic companies saying are in regular tampons? They say that regular tampons have herbicides and pesticides, dioxide, and glyphosate. 
And I'll go ahead and address these three issues. First, the FDA requires that tampons have no residue of a pesticide or herbicide, or at least at such low levels that it's no longer medically relevant. Second, dioxide, which is a carcinogen, has the same levels in 100% cotton brands as regular brands. But it should be noted that the level of dioxide in tampons and pads is so low, you get way more exposure through your diet to dioxide than you do tampons. If you use 12,000 tampons in your life, you would be coming not even close to the lower level of dietary exposure to dioxide. Number three, glyophosphate, another carcinogen, has actually not been found in tampons. And what's more, glyophosphate is inactive in humans and cannot be absorbed through the vaginal wall. So in short, don't stress. Go ahead and buy those regular tampons. There's not gonna be any harm done to you. All right, last myth, white cotton protects against yeast infections. This is probably a myth that we have all been told at some point in our lives. The deal is that there's many studies, but low quality studies that show a link um, between polyester and yeast infections. These studies interviewed women who did and didn't have a history of yeast infections and asked them what underwear they wear. And get this, they didn't even test the women for yeast infections. They just asked them if they had a history or if they have a current one. And historically, self-diagnosis of yeast infections have been wrong. Something like 70% of women that diagnose themselves with yeast infections are wrong. That means odds are that the women that diagnosed themselves with yeast infections in the study were wrong. More recent and accurate studies show that there's no link between the type of underwear you wear and yeast infections. All right, that's a wrap. I have debunked three common myths that there's a specific G-spot, that uh, organic tampons are better for you than regular tampons, and that cotton underwear protects you against yeast infections. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it enlightening. If you wanna know any more vagina facts, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want more informational videos, go ahead and check out my playlist over here and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.